we want to estimate the slope of each tangent line at the points on the graph. Let's begin by estimating the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 3. Notice that x equals negative 3, this would be the point on the function. So notice how when x of the input is negative 3, the output or y value is approximately, let's say, 3.7. So the coordinates of this point of tangency are negative 3 comma 3.7. And now let's sketch the tangent line at this point. The tangent line at this point would look something like this. Now to help us find the slope of this line, let's find two points on the line. So we'll use the point of tangency, this point here, as well as, let's say, this point here. Notice how the coordinates of this point would be negative 4, comma 1. And now there are two ways we can find the slope of this line. In general, the slope is equal to the change in output divided by the change in input. Or if our function is in terms of x and y, we can say the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x, which graphically represents the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. So let's first approximate the slope using the graph. Notice how if we want to move from this point to this point on the line, we'd have to go up approximately 2.7 units, so the change of y is positive 2.7, and then we'd have to go right one unit, which means the change of x is positive 1. So now we know our approximation of the slope, m, is going to be equal to 2.7 divided by 1, which equals 2.7. Again, the 2.7 is a change of y, and the positive 1 is a change of x. So at x equals negative 3, the slope of the tangent line is m is approximately 2.7. The other option would be to use the slope formula here, the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Let's also show this. So we'll call these the 2's and these the 1's. So using the formula, the slope is equal to, again, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 would be 3.7 minus 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1 would be negative 3 minus negative 4. Simplifying, we get 2.7 divided by, this simplifies to negative 3 plus 4, which is positive 1, giving us the same approximation of 2.7 for the slope of this tangent line. Now let's approximate the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0. At x equals 0, this would be the point on the function. We'll notice how the output or y value is positive 3. So the coordinates of this point are 0, comma 3. And now let's sketch the tangent line at this point. The tangent line would look like this. And now we'll select two points on this line to help us approximate the slope. So again, we'll use the point of tangency. Let's also use this point here. Notice how the coordinates of this point would be negative 1, comma 5. Determining the slope graphically, notice how to move from this point to this point, we'd have to go down two units, which means the change of y is negative 2. And then we'd have to go right one unit, which means the change of x is positive 1. And therefore, the approximation for the slope, m, is equal to negative 2 divided by 1, which equals negative 2. So at x equals 0, the slope of the tangent line is m is approximately negative 2. Let's also show it using the slope formula. We already have the coordinates of the two points, so we'll call these the 1's and these the 2's. So the slope m would be equal to 3 minus 5 divided by 0 minus negative 1. So we have negative 2 divided by 1, which once again does give us negative 2. And now let's approximate the slope at x equals 1.8. At x equals 1.8, this would be the point on the function. We notice how the output or y value is approximately 0 0.5. So the coordinates of this point would be 1.8 comma 0 0.5. Now let's go ahead and sketch the tangent line at this point. Notice how at this point, the tangent line is going to be horizontal. 
which we should recognize would have a slope of zero. If we do select two points on this line to help us approximate the slope, let's go ahead and use the point of tangency as well as this point here. Notice how the second point would have coordinates four comma zero point five. So notice how to move from this point to this point. The vertical change of the change of y would be zero and the horizontal change would be 2.2. Well, zero divided by 2.2 is zero, which is the reason why at x equals 1.8, the slope of the tangent line is m is approximately zero. Well, if we want to show this using the slope formula, we'd have the slope m is equal to y sub two minus y sub one is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5. And then x sub two minus x sub one would be four minus 1.8. Simplifying, we get zero divided by 2.2, which is zero. I hope you found this helpful.